I'm studying people. This is my new thing. I'm studying people. Here's what, here's what I've learned about people, okay? The four top ways that people meet each other romantically, right? People meet uh, at work. People meet at bars and restaurants. People meet through friends and family. And nowadays, no shame, people meet online. That's how they do it. Are you guys together? There's no wrong answer. How'd you meet real quick? How'd you meet? We lived at the same apartment. You lived at the same apartment complex. So that's your neighbors. That's good. That's good. That's totally normal. Totally normal. <laughs> Last person, no wrong answer. How'd you guys, how'd you meet? That tells me right there. Just, <laughs> whenever someone goes, you know, <laughs> that means I'm about to hear a lie. Um, how did you meet them? A trip to Vegas, you were both at Vegas? No. We're gonna leave that alone. Okay. <laughs> I've seen this happen before. <laughs> not at my taping, you do You can poison me, but you're not gonna know. No. Those are normal ways, right? I don't wanna hear normal anymore. I wanna hear crazy, okay? For instance, who here met through Stockholm Syndrome? <laughs> Some of you don't know what Stockholm Syndrome is, all right? <laughs> Clap if you do know what Stockholm Syndrome is. Clap if you do, okay. You're my witness, you're my witness. I'm not making this up. Let's say you get kidnapped, for real, right? And during the course of the kidnapping, somehow you fall in love with your kidnapper. It's rare, but it happens. It's called Stockholm Syndrome. That's what I wanna see. <laughs> People who met through StockholmSyndrome.com. <laughs> Why? Because they always have the best how we met stories. Yes, the woman, she's like, well, I was working the late shift at Kmart. I came out to my car and Larry was crouched down by my bumper. That's when I noticed he had these beautiful blue eyes. I can see them through the slit in his hood. <laughs> he asked me if I had jumper cables. Funny thing, I go to get him, he hits me in the head. <laughs> Puts me in the trunk. But when I regain consciousness, I remember thinking, this could be the one! My favorite part of the story is when I tell you, I didn't make that up. That's a true story. This couple's on CNN talking about that's how they met for real. Here's my question. If that's the beginning <laughs> of your relationship, where does it go from there? <laughs> they have the same arguments we have two, three years later, he gets mad. He's like, you're not the woman I fell in love with. She gets mad, you're not the same man who followed me home from the grocery store and tried to choke the snot out of me. <laughs> I go to my car, nobody's there. No one's in the back seat. I'm scaring some of you. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just... Every time I said another one, oh my goodness, why would he do that? <laughs> Subscribe to Dry Bar Comedy for even more of the world's largest collection of clean comedy.